Good morning, friends. I am Ashish Agarwal from Team NGO Enabler, bringing before you the video on the latest updates under the Income Tax Act related to NGOs. Recently, in order to grant relief from the statutory filings amidst the second wave of COVID-19 pandemic, the Finance Ministry had extended the various compliance due dates which I discussed in my earlier video published on 27th May 2021. Lately, on Friday, 25th June 2021, another circular was released by the Finance Ministry, further extending some of the timelines which were already extended earlier, providing a major relief to the taxpayers, especially the charitable organizations. So let's check them one by one. The due date for filing Form 10A related to the renewal of Erst while registrations for exemption under section 12A, 12AA, ATG and 1023C has been finally extended from 30th June 2021 to 31st August 2021. So finally the much needed extension has been announced. To provide you all with a background for such extension, let me tell you it's not only due to the pandemic, but also because the relevant form was not available since the time the new e-filing portal of income tax was launched on 7th June 2021. Even till the date of this video, the form has not yet been made available on the portal. But now, since the due date has been extended by two months, the charitable organizations can relax and wait for the availability of the form without any tension. Coming to Vivaat Vishwas scheme, the charitable organizations opting for the said scheme gets another extension. Earlier this year, the due date of payment of tax under the Vivaat Vishwas scheme was extended twice already. First, up to 30th April 2021 and then up to 30th June 2021. Now, with the latest circular released on 25th June 2021, which we are discussing, such due date has been further extended with two options. Without additional payment, the scheme can be opted till 31st August 2021 and with additional amount up to 31st October 2021. Now, with this latest circular released on 25th June 2021, the due date has been further extended with two options. Without additional amount, the scheme has to be opted till 31st August and with additional amount, the scheme can be opted up to 31st October 2021. Coming to filing of TTS returns for quarter 4 of financial year 2020-21, providing another 15 days time for filing of TTS returns for the last quarter of financial year 2021, the due date has been again extended from 30th June 2021 to 15th July 2021. Although no extension was announced for the TDS return of quarter 1 of financial year 21-22 which falls due on 31st July, but it seems the same too will be extended. Moving on to the issue of TDS certificates, keeping in line with the extension of timelines for filing quarter 4 returns of financial year 2021, the due date for issue of certificates have also been extended again from 15th July 2021 to 31st July 2021. Now comes the most important extension which is given for linking of PAN and ADHA. The due date for linking of PAN and ADHA which was made mandatory has been again extended from 30th June 2021 to 30th September 2021. This implies after 30th September 2021, the PAN shall become inoperative and might be held invalid for all purposes if not found linked with the ADHA. The last but not the least extension has been provided for the assessment proceedings. The timeline for passing the assessment order for the ongoing assessments which was supposed to get barred on 31st March 2021 was already extended twice 
earlier this year. However, with the release of the recent circular, the same again has been extended to 30th September 2021. So that's it for today. Keep tuned and subscribe to our channel for more such updates. Thank you.